Welcome back. In this video, we are going to build a custom control in UI toolkit. If you don't know what a custom control is, don't worry. Uh, I will explain this briefly in a second. What are we going to build precisely? We are going to build something like the window you can see here in this image. I just found something on Pinterest that looks um, kind of similar to what we are trying to do, which is a simple pop-up window where you have a message and you can confirm or cancel. And based on whether you confirm or cancel, something else can happen. Now, uh, you have all the tools that you need in UI Toolkit for this. Uh, what you don't have is the thing as a control itself. So let's just go ahead and build it. So we are here in a brand new Unity project. We made a new project as a 2D template. Um, nothing else, nothing too fancy here. We are in the 22.1.3 um, version. So if you want to follow along exactly, get yourself some similar version at least 22 is good so that you have the unity edit the ui toolkit built in now what i'm going to do is just close the asset store tab here and open the ui builder and i'm going to put the ui builder next to my game screen and make it a little bit larger to so that we have more space to work with now let's just briefly reiterate what we are trying to achieve. When you open your UI builder and you look under this library section, you have your standard controls. Now all those things here, they are in different categories, um, but those are called controls and you have a couple of those built in into UI toolkit that you can use. And those are the things that you would expect um, a scroll view, a button, a label, a text field, a slider, things like that. Uh, pretty basic stuff. Now, when you work on larger UI projects, you will probably quickly reach a point where you will notice that those things might not be enough. And obviously you can um, combine those things and let them build some more complex behavior um, with C sharp scripts and write a lot of code and stuff like that. But uh, if you are working on a medium to large game, even for some, some indie developers, um, you will quickly notice that um, you get, you have elements that appear again and again. And those controls, you don't want to have all of them be controlled only by your uh, C-sharp classes all the time. What you would like to have is reusable components just like here that you can actually even edit in UI Builder or at least look at them in UI Builder and um, use them in the same way basically as you would use those controls here. And in this video, what we are trying to do is to build um, this kind of pop-up confirmation window that I showed you before and make it basically behave like those built-in controls in UI Toolkit. So we will go over this step by step. We are going to build a really simple custom control. We are not going to make this very, uh, very fancy and use kind of all the things that you have at your disposal that, that you could do with um with a custom control like that we are not going to try to be super clever we are just going to um, make it work and make it as simple as possible to achieve what we want and for that to start let's just um, give us a little bit of order create a new folder and call that folder pop-up window okay so our first goal is to give us some kind of playground here in UI Builder where we can actually make our custom component uh, visible once we created it. So let's just take this file in UI Builder, let's save it into a pop up window folder and call this, let's say, pop up test. You can obviously call this whatever you want. This is just, this is not going to be our component actually. This is just our control. 
actually this is going to be um, just a UXML file where we can visualize our control and where we can play around with it. So let's just save that. And while we are at it, let's just um, also link this up in our game view. So let's give ourselves a new, a new game object, call this UI. Let's add a component, UI document. Now let's go to the root directory and create a panel settings asset. Link this up with our game object, with our UI document component here, and also take our playground UXML and oops and link this up with our UI document. And so now if we would throw in some button on our playground here and we would go to the game view, we can actually see this button. Now it's stretching across the whole um, the whole screen, but that was just for testing. So let's remove this button again. We only wanted to see if this um, setup actually worked. Okay, so our setup is working and let's now think about our component. So how do we actually get a custom control into UI Builder? In order to do that, what we need for first is a C sharp script. Let's call this pop up window and let's open it. And in here we are going to need a couple of things. Let's just remove those first two imports. We will need the Unity engine. We will need system. And obviously, since we are working with UI Toolkit, we are going to need Unity Engine UI elements. Okay, let's just remove this boilerplate here. We are not going to inherit from mono behavior. A good practice for those uh, for those controls is to give them some namespace to avoid any naming collisions. Let's just, for simplicity, call this pop-up test. And put the class right in here. Okay, so what is the very minimal thing you need to get a custom control? Now, your custom controls should always inherit from a visual element. If you read through the documentation, they actually um, give you some hints why that is the case, why it's not a good idea to inherit from other controls. Um, so let's just let's just take it as it is. Uh, let's accept this rule. If you're making a new um, control, inherit from visual element. That way, you can use all the uh, all the members, all the properties that visual element offers you. And on that, we are going to build um, our new step. What you obviously can do is use a other component, uh, a, a other control inside of your um, of your custom control. So that is something else than, for example, to um, to inherit from a text label. Another thing is to use a text label in here. That's perfectly fine, but you should not um, inherit from other controls basically because you might need to use their internal um, their internal properties and structures and those might uh, change in the future and you might not um, be able to rely on um, and, and then basically your uh, custom control could also change or could basically be broken if some of um, the properties that you used are not there anymore or are have just changed their functionality so we inherited from from visual element and now the only thing that we need is one a constructor that is just a normal constructor as you would have with any with any other class 
And you need one piece of magic, one piece of um, setup basically, and that is this annotation unity engine dot scripting dot preserve. And here the important thing is that you create a so called UXML factory. of type of your um, of your custom control and now let's see what that what that did just with this um, one or two lines of code what happens now when we go back to the editor and we let it do its thing when you now go on the project, you can see our namespace appearing here under custom controls, and you can see our pop-up window appearing just here. And now all we have to do is grab our pop-up window and drag it into the hierarchy. And voila, just like that, our custom control is working and is um, is in our UI and we can basically use it as we would use other uh, controls. So we could style that now, we can provide some functionality, which we will do in a second. Um, but obviously for now, uh, we didn't add any visual elements. So this is just absolutely, this is just totally empty. But you can see just with this single line of code, um, that makes it so such that we can use our custom control. And the way that that works basically is uh, once you have this factory your UI toolkit is kind of um, looking over your scripts and everywhere it finds this um, this factory in this annotation. It knows okay this is something I have to expose in the UI builder such that um, such that we can uh, use our control that we defined here.